Sussex is doomsday. Harry begged Queen for final return ticket after Meghan's dirty deeds exposed. Meghan Markle married Prince Harry in 2018 in a beautiful ceremony in St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle, but fans believe a video from before she met him foreshadowed her future. Royal fans are convinced that Meghan Markle predicted her future as a princess a decade ago. Long before Meghan married Prince Harry, she was an actress, best known for her role as paralegal Rachel Zane, on the legal drama series Suits. Meghan also starred in an episode of the US TV series, Castle, in 2012, in which she plays Charlotte Boyd, a woman who is linked to two of her murdered friends. The two main characters, detectives Richard Castle, Nathan Fillion, and Kate Beckett, Stana Cottage, are hunting the killer when they come across Meghan's character in a Sleeping Beauty costume, which is what fans believe basically foreshadowed her future as Prince Harry's wife. Many people took to Twitter to comment on the connection, with one person writing, Rewatching at Castle underscore ABC and Meghan Markle is on the episode and it's funny how she played a fairy tale character and then lived one. Another put, Hubs and I watched a season 4 episode of Castle and one of the young actresses looked really familiar. IMDB to the rescue. It was Meghan Markle. Not only that, it was ironically a fairy tale themed episode, and in her first scene she was dressed as a princess. I think Castle would describe Meghan Markle being in the episode based on fairy tale characters slash princesses a bit ironic, said a third viewer. As another person put, Meghan Markle was on an episode of Castle, which was produced by ABC Studios, which is owned by Disney, which is why Archie's birth certificate doesn't just reveal that she is a princess but a forlorn Disney princess thank you for stumbling into my TED talk. When Meghan first started dating Harry she was determined to keep things on the down low while she worked out if he was the one. And the pair successfully did that for five months before the secret was out and their perfect, private bubble burst. When the press found out about them, the realization that this was her new life terrified Meghan, claims royal journalists, Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand. The Duke of Sussex issued a statement in January regarding his application for judicial review after a Home Office decision previously ruled he would be unable to personally fund police protection for his family while in England. He claimed he is unable to return to the UK while he and his family are not covered by police protection. In the statement from Harry's representatives, they said, Prince Harry inherited a security risk at birth, for life. He remains sixth in line to the throne, served two tours of combat duty in Afghanistan, and in recent years his family has been subjected to well-documented neo-Nazi and extremist threats. While his role within the institution has changed, his profile as a member of the royal family has not. Nor has the threat to him and his family. When Harry and Meghan Markle left for the US in 2020, they began to personally fund a private security team for their family. However, the statement then said, that security cannot replicate the necessary police protection needed whilst in the UK. In absence of such protection, Prince Harry and his family are unable to return home. Royal biographer Tom Bauer has now claimed the Duke is using worries over his security as an excuse to avoid returning to the UK. He added Harry knows that it's likely to be difficult to maintain friendly relations with the royal family following the release of the book. Harry's book, to be published by Random House, is likely to tackle the brother's frosty relationship with the Duchess of Cornwall. Rights to the book cost £14.7 million, pounds, $20 million, and it is due to be published in the autumn. Mr. Bauer told Closer magazine he thinks Harry will miss Queen Elizabeth II's Platinum Jubilee in June. He said, I think Harry won't come back because he knows he cannot face his family, and be pleasant with them, knowing what he's written about them in that book. Them, no.